Welcome back to my dev vlog. Today I'm going to be showing you what progress I've made over this month in my engine. If you don't know what I'm currently making, you could check out the first video that I did of the dev vlog, and that will be in the top right hand corner of the screen here. And if you do, well, stick around and I'll explain what I've done for this month. All right, over this month, I have managed to overhaul the internals of the engine. So I've been rewriting all of the core rendering code to remove most of Vulkan from my engine. This means that I can use other rendering APIs down the line, such as DirectX or Metal. I've also done this to improve the iteration time so I can speed up adding of new features to the engine because I don't have to work with the core rendering API. I work with my own API over the top, which is actually a bit simpler to work with. Through all of this, I've actually managed to speed up part of the engine because now I'm rendering multiple back buffers. So multiple frames are being rendered at the same time on the graphics card. And this saturates the graphics card better, improving performance by about 20%. So now I have a way more stable FPS when playing the game. These changes took most of my time this month, but I have managed to implement a few other features that are moving the game towards my first version 0.1 that I'm hoping to get done before Christmas this year. One of those features which I've implemented is foveated rendering. So I'll show you a quick demo now of what that is. I'm going to draw a screen here. And on the edges of the screen here, what happens is in these sections here, uh, the renderer renders less pixels because you're more likely to look in the center here where stuff is going on and we want more detail in the center of the screen which means we don't care as much about pixels on the edge of the screen. That means we can kind of render less in these sections and there that can speed up the game rendering time humongously. As you can see here, this is in engine showing the green sections of the screen being the edges of the display and bits that will be culled. So more green is more culled. This is an exaggerated display of what is actually going on in the engine. But as you can see, at the edges of the screen, we render larger voxels, which actually optimizes the whole game and the user will not notice the difference because we will make it unperceivable to the end user. I also added a distorted rendering system, so less pixels are actually rendered at the corners of the display. Well, the way we do this is we render the scene in a distorted view. So if you look at this video here, you can see this is distorted as it was looking through like a lens or like a, a really strong glasses. You can see that the view has been distorted. Then we undistort the view and put it back onto a flat plane. I did have a few issues trying to implement this and as you can see here, this is what happens if you don't clear the back buffer. So the pixels are basically just not overwriting everything and it looks quite cool I thought but it's definitely not what we want for the engine. Another thing that I managed to get done this month was add I am GUI so that now my engine can basically have GUI panels and windows that allow me to edit runtime variables so I can create little menus for people to use if you're using the engine and in the end just make it easier to work with the engine and debug. And one of the last things I added was a palette system so now what happens is the each voxel is given a material ID into a palette of materials so now we can actually have multicolored voxels but as you can see here the voxels are not colored the same as their parents anymore which means the colors look a bit weird and you can see all the loading in and out so down the line i'm gonna have to fix that right now i'm trying to implement a fractal system so we can generate fractals and view them in the engine which i think will be very cool so stay tuned for that it should be next month hopefully and yeah so the material system has enabled me to add multiple colored voxels so that's this month's dev vlog guys i hope you enjoyed the video and next month i'm going to be hopefully releasing a video around the same time and stay tuned for that and see what i get done for next month